Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. Today I'm gonna to tell you why I stopped using my chicken-powered chicken coop door. All right, so I've been getting a few questions on YouTube about why I stopped using my automatic chicken coop door and this coop door was powered by the chickens themselves um, it was super cool I had it set up about two years ago I'll link a video um, probably up at the top and also in the description um, it was powered by the chickens so when the chickens went into the coop at night they jump up on the roost bar and their weight would actually put pressure on that roost bar and it was hinged so it would go down and it would pull a rope which would actually lower their coop door and close it at night. Um, it also had an automatic locking system so that an animal couldn't just um, lift it up and get in that way either. So it was really neat. Um, I put it on YouTube. I used it, I don't know, probably like six or eight months, and it was great. So now, um, if you look back behind me, right sorry right over there you'll see there's a metal coop door there and it actually has a little six volt lantern battery in it and it's light sensitive so it um it's no longer powered by the chickens it's it actually has a little computer chip in it and you can program it and make it do what you want it's called the a door coop um a door automatic chicken coop door um again i'll put a link I'll put a link for when I installed it. I'll also link to the store where you can get your own. Um, your own. Um, so the question people are asking me is why did I switch? Why did I stop? And were there things that were not reliable with the chicken powered door? So the main reason I stopped is I had a rooster and the roost, like all the chickens would get up as soon as it got light, like five in the morning in the summer. And they would come out and the rooster would just start crowing. And the problem with that is we live on a little lot in town and the neighbors do not like roosters crowing early in the morning. So by switching to this door, it's programmable and I was able to program it to open like two or three or four hours after sunrise. So that way the rooster's kind of enclosed in the coop. I could close the windows <clears throat> and basically his crowing was muffled that way. So that was one of the main reasons. Um, actually, personally, that was probably my only reason. So it turned out he was still crowing in the day and the neighbors still didn't really like it. So we ended up getting rid of him um, we gave him away, but we kept the aid or coop door. So why is that? So with the chicken powered coop door, um, it worked really well for us. I'm trying to remember uh, any issues we had. One, one issue that we had is when we got new baby chicks, those chicks would not jump up, up on the roost bar. So we didn't account for their weight for closing the door, which was fine. It's just that the bigger chickens would go in and jump up on the roost bar and the door would close before the chicks came in at night. For some reason, the chicks stayed up later. So that was one issue. Um, also with that coop door, there's pulleys and ropes and if something slips or comes off, it might not work right. Um, also, if the chickens gained weight or lost weight by more than like a pound, it might not work right might close too early, might close too late, <clears throat> that type of thing. Also, this didn't really apply to us, but if you lost a chicken, like a hawk took a chicken out during the day, <clears throat> then the coop door would not close at night, which didn't really matter for us because we keep them in this enclosed run anyways, so they're still pretty safe even if the door didn't shut. Um, I think also we had like a chicken die and so then I would have to readjust the weights which again isn't too big of a deal because it was just milk jugs with water so check out that 
check out that video if you're interested. Um, but I really like this eight-door coupe door. Um, like I said, it has a six-volt lantern battery in it. It's you can program it however you like. Uh, right now, I just have it on the default, like open when it gets light, close when it gets dark. The battery lasts for months. You can hook it up to solar if you want. Um, put a rechargeable battery in there, um, which I thought about doing, but I haven't yet. But that would be super cool. Um, it has lots of options. It's it's U.S. made. You can get parts for it if you need it. So I'm really happy with it. So that's why I haven't switched back. Um, I believe all my pulleys and everything are still in there if I did want to switch back. But since I already have this door, it's just a lot more convenient. Like if we get new chickens or lose a chicken, I don't have to mess with it. It's all automatic. So that's the answer um, to why I'm using this coupe door now. Um, the other system, again, it was super cool. You may want to go ahead and use it. I had fun with it. I, I am happy I did it that way. It was, you know, it was a challenge. It was fun to experiment, try different things and get it to work. But I'm also happy with this coupe door now. So hopefully that answers your questions. We don't have a whole lot going on at the homestead right now. You can see our garden is kind of dead because it is like middle of February. Um, so not a whole lot to update on that. We haven't put out many videos lately. Sorry about that. Hopefully we will do more. So yeah. Let me know if you have any, any additional questions about the coupe doors and we will see you on the next video. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. I'm Matthew and what you just saw was our automatic chicken coop run door being opened and closed by the chickens themselves. This is an automatic coop door that we built. We had some inspiration. I found a couple other...